heart failure, of course, you, by telling the patient that you got heart failure, he will be, he'll be psychologically, you know, um, sad. But of course, uh, if you go back to science, heart failure is, it's like having a cancer, to that extent. So the mortality is very bad, you know. So diagnosis of heart failure early is very important because that's we have the medication available, especially with those with heart failure and reduced I mean pump. When their pump is reduced, that those one, we have medication, evidence-based medication available. Especially patient coming with the, you know with the shortness of breath to the emergency, those uh, you want to make sure they are not having heart failure. So we have biomarkers available. Once they diagnose of heart failure, of course, life, you know, their life entirely changed. The family should be into into play a great role in their patient management because what happens? They need medications. And that medication is not only one, it's polypharmacy. So that's something that attack, you know, affect their life, burden on them because of being adherent to medication for long life, you know, is, is very difficult. So that's one thing. Second thing is, of course, you know, patients, you know, symptoms and signs, swelling and all that will be associated with patients with heart failure. And of course, you know, um, then their relationship, if they are married and things will be affected. So really, Looking at heart failure, the causes of it, you know, is clear, you know, so it's things like hypertension, high blood pressure, coronary artery diseases, dyslipidemia, you know, valve disease. These can be, you know, uh, early diagnosed and, you know, try to modify th them before, the, you know, we call, we call heart failure is a, is a late uh, presentation. Something happened, if you're able to intervene at, as early as possible, that uh, to great extent can be pre prevented. And we divide, actually, in today's discussion, we divided the heart failure to stages. Stage A, you are at risk of getting heart failure. But pe people like diabetes, at risk of getting heart failure. Then you have patients with hypertension, with structural heart disease. These are, at, again, higher risk. Then, of course, the people who already developed heart failure and with the symptoms. So that's a kind of a brief uh, uh, talk about the impact of heart failure. That that's, you know, a, we are good in um, saying th that, you know, is the importance of education, but implementation, I think, is the, 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 the problem. Uh, I think we need to involve, um, you know, the physicians, um, a patient uh, communication all the time with patients, with relatives. Uh, we should have used the media. I think it's important uh, to, again, uh, tell about the importance of early diagnosis of heart failure, the sign and symptoms and the importance of non-pharmacological like lifestyle, you know, exercise, uh, you know, f physical activities, uh, vegetable, fruits, less stress, you know, away from smoking, all that will help patients not to get the risk factor which is the result in heart failure. Today we learn a lot because I come to tell you about the, the importance of eye care in this, uh, in this region. Um, the biomarkers, you know, it's like it's, I, I, I say it to, the, to them, you know, in, in the hand of good doctor, make him better. In the hand of bad doctor, make him worse. So biomarkers, you need to use it with your clinical judgment as a physician. So you, to some extent, you think this patient got acute coronary syndrome, it means going to have heart attack, or patient going to have heart failure, you know. So you use then biomarkers here to rule in, to say, okay, this patient have that, or rule out. So really, you know, nowadays, you know, patients come to us with, say, say some chest, inf chest pain, okay? I do high uh, sensitivity troponin. If it's positive, so I say to him, look, you most likely have heart attack. If it's negative, okay, I say, you, look, you have no heart attack and you can go home. So to that extent, so really it relieves the patient anxiety, relieves the patient, you know, the us as a cost of, you know, patients staying there and using, overusing the investigation. So it's, biomarkers, I think, is, especially with the, with, the, with the company like Roche has done a great job and uh, made available with evidence. Not just, we are not just talking here, we are supported by evidence. I wish we, know, we, we knew about these kind of activities a long time ago because we have lots of quality meetings and happening in UAE, alhamdulillah. We have World Congress of Cardiology, we have uh, our association with American College of Cardiology, lots of meetings going on. But to have really uh, where the lab experts with, uh, with the physicians, with the nurses, emergencies, Pharmacist in under one you know uh, roof, it's great. I mean today you know things like we used to think just troponin negative positive that's it, uh, and troponin um, you know a certain number and that's it. But now today we learned actually no, there are you know the categories for that you know you know and and and, and it's the change in that value which is important. This is you will not know it unless you communicate with the right people. 
And really, we, they are in hospital, but we are not communicating. So we, com we started communication from last year. This is year has improved, and I hope this kind of platform, you know, um, be spread in the region.